Hi, this is Penny Haynes with the next edition of Marketing with Audio and Video. And I appreciate you guys joining us. We have got a really cool call today. I had no clue that there was such a thing as sweepstakes experts. No clue. But then again, it really does make sense because that's how some people do great promotions. So we're going to be talking today with a promotional marketing consultant who is also a sweepstakes expert. And her name is Carolyn Willman. She's also known as the Contest Queen. So Carolyn, without too much further ado, (laughs) welcome to the Marketing with Audio and Video Show. Thank you for having me on. Thanks. I am Carolyn Willman, and I'm known as the Contest Queen, and it Basically, I took my my extensive marketing background and combined it with my hobby that it got out of control (laughs) and (laughs) became a promotional marketing expert, and I've been doing it since 2001 now. I really know my stuff, and I've been watching the industry change over the last eight years. It's been really, really interesting, and even how I've marketed myself has changed over the last eight years. And one of the reasons I responded to your request for guesses, because I had started out using the traditional marketing methods, and over time, have, I have added audio and video to my website as resources and different things. So I thought, well, you know, I've been using it myself, mainly for the consumer side of the business, but I'm looking to add some for the promotional side of my business, too, now. The last stat I have is 2007, and companies in the United States spent $1.89 billion running promotions. Wow. And it's supposed to triple by 2012. So there's oh enough God. prizes out there for everybody, <laughs> and it's a great way to promote your business. So there's both sides of the table. And if you're not involved in it, you can enter. So a lot of people that I talk to, marketers, that are involved in the sweepstakes, you know, as part of their their business, they enter too because they see these people winning prizes all the time, and they figure, why can't why can't I win some of that? <laughs> so as long as their company's not involved, they go enter their competition's <laughs> sweepstakes. In 2001, I got caught in the dot com crunch. Mm-hmm. Marketing's usually the first department to go, and then of course, no one was hiring, and I found myself unemployed for the longest period of history in my career. Mm -hmm. And so one night, you know, I think it was five or six months I hadn't worked. I was lying in bed reading Reader's Digest, and it it was a story about a woman. Her and her husband were teachers, and they were entering sweepstakes as a hobby daily. They would enter on a daily basis, and they won things things that added to their lifestyle, things that they money couldn't buy them, things that just weren't in their budget, all kinds of adventures and travel and bikes and dinners and movie theaters and, you know, car and all kinds of things. I thought, what a great idea. I don't have to work. I'll just win stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I like the sound of that. You know what? I'm going to tell you right now, I have tried for eight years. It does not work for me. <laughs> I've heard of a few people in the United States that can actually win enough for a living because they sell most of what they win. Right. Right. But I have yet to meet anybody in Canada that can earn their living winning. It's a great way to market products because contesters, is now this is important for the business people to listen to, we change buying habits based on promotions. And, you know, if we, we win, we you know, we will be your biggest uh, cheerleader. I I interviewed somebody um, two weeks ago, and when he was nine, no, sorry, 12, he won a, a prize from Coke. And, you know, 20 years later, his that's what he drinks, and that's who he's fond of, and that's who he has mm-hmm. in his fridge. And, and if he's going to promote anything, he'll promote that brand. I'm like, wow, they really got their money out of that promotion. <laughs> That is a long tail, a that very is, long yes, tail. Yes, it is a long tail, and, and they do that. And also, if you screw up, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy, we are the first to to haul out the whipping sticks. Mm-hmm. 
And that is all from this week's excerpt from the Marketing with Audio and Video show. Our guest has been Carolyn Willman, the contest queen. Next week, we're going to be talking about back-end marketing for your sweepstakes or your promotions and how Amtrak basically sabotaged theirs. We'll also be talking about using video and images in sweepstakes and also about using it on your website. Last of all, well, I'll preach a little bit about how it is not build it and they will come. Of course, I would love for you to pick up the 30-page free excerpt from my book, 101 Things to Do with Audio and Video to promote your business. You can get that at 101thingsaudiovideo.com. And of course, this is all brought to you by the Commercial Creation Center. Personal assistance from me and simple software to help you create and post audio and video to promote your business. Have a great week.